Hey guys, Sammy here. This video is really random and kind of all over the place, but it's been on my mind a little bit for a couple days now. Well, the topic of the video, not the video itself, has been on my mind. But, um, I don't think I've ever mentioned this on my channel, and I'm gonna tell you guys that... Oh god, this is so embarrassing. It's not really embarrassing, like lots of people have it, but it's just weird because I never thought I'd actually talk about this on my channel, but I do have one of those, like, online dating site apps on my phone, um, specifically, I don't want to say the website, but I will say, okay, I'll say this, I will say that when I message guys on the site that I'm at, it sucks when I know that we have things in common and that we'll probably get along. And then I see that they've read it and then they don't respond. And it's not like my message is weird or anything. It's just like, hey, how are you? You seem like a nice guy. I think we would get along. Uh, hopefully we can continue getting to know each other. Um, and then I feel like a smiley face or something like that. And most of the time they're online and I know that they've read it but they don't respond and it's just like well okay <laughs> there goes another one <laughs> fine um maybe they just don't think I'm attractive enough or that I'm not their type or this or that or it could be a freaking a buttload of reasons but I don't know because none of them will tell me none of them respond to me it's very it's kind of like rare now that when I message a guy on the site that I'm at they actually respond but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. And it just sucks. Because it's like, well, I don't message guys all the time. But when I do, you know, it, a li like even a simple hi would be nice. Like, hey. It's like, oh, he answered. Yes. Finally, one of them answered. Like, I messaged this guy last night at like... What time was it? Like 2 something in the morning. And I was only up at that time because I had taken a nap yesterday afternoon or evening, like at 5.30. And I meant for the nap to be like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And I woke up at like 8.15 or 8.11 or something like that. And I was just like, whoa, I slept a lot more than I should have. I did not mean to sleep so much. And then I didn't go to bed till like 2, 2.15 in the morning, close to... 2, 2, 15? Or was it later than that? I think I went to bed almost at 3. We'll just say I went to bed at 3, not 2, okay? So, yeah. I don't know. It's not really a rant because I don't really rant that much on my channel, but I guess there are some exceptions. It just, it's frustrating. I guess I know how some guys feel on online dating sites when they message a girl that they think is pretty and that they think that they would have a lot of stuff in common with and that, you know, they think they would get along with and then the girl is just like, Peh, I don't need to respond to you, peasant. It's just like, well, okay, <laughs> fine. I'll talk to you either. <laughs> so that's never a nice feeling to feel ignored or rejected like right off the bat and you're just like introducing yourself. Yeah, I actually have one of those online dating profile thingies. I'm not going to say the website because of reasons, but I will say that I'm very tempted to delete my profile, but I haven't yet because I don't know why. I really don't know why I haven't deleted it. I just haven't. Like, I've been going back and forth with deleting it or keeping it for freaking weeks now and some people tell me you know keep it you never know who's gonna message you maybe when you're about to delete it that one guy's gonna message you and it's gonna be your dream guy or he's gonna like visit your profile or something like that and I'm just like but I don't have all the patience in the world <laughs> uh, this this crap is pissing me off and then I have one I have two over here actually my face is actually getting somewhat better but then I have like the one or two baddies that just pop up. And the more I scratch at it, the worse it gets because it, it can scar. It's bleeding. I think it's bleeding. Whatever. 
So, yeah, there's my little rant. I don't know, I just wanted to get this off my chest. Just be like, wow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying now. It just kind of makes no sense, but I just, it's frustrating, that's all. And it's like almost all my friends have boyfriends or girlfriends, and it's just like, I am single, Samantha. <laughs> I've been single for a very long time. If I don't count the last guy I dated, which I kind of don't because he literally just left me in the dust, I've been single for seven years, almost eight years, something like that. Yeah, so I've been single for a long time, and it's probably me. It's probably always going to be my fault, so I've come to terms with that. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the type of guys that I go after. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something. I don't know what the hell it is. But even just, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, my words are all over the place and I make no sense. But I just, it sucks when you message someone and they're cute and they're nice and you think that you would have a good time with that person and then you can see that they've read the message and then you give them a little while, like, this happened yesterday, actually, yeah, last night, before I messaged the guy, like, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I messaged this other guy, like, at 12.30 or something like that, or almost 1 o'clock. Yeah, it's bleeding, I have blood on my hands. <laughs> Damn it, I kept scratching at it, and now it's bleeding. Um, so I messaged this cute guy who wasn't that far away from me. And, uh, I messaged him, like, at 12.45, I think it was, or something like that. And, like, half an hour, 45 minutes passed by. I was like, well, damn. <laughs> I know he read the message because it says red, and he's not freaking responding. So then I sent him another message. I was like, all right, guess not. Have a good one. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Or something like that. I said something like that. And I just, I don't take rejection too kindly. I've never been one to be like, oh, he rejected me? All right, cool, whatever. It's just like, well, what did I do? Why did he reject me? I'm just like going through all the possible reasons in my head. And it's just like, oh, I'm not pretty. <laughs> it always comes down to me not being pretty enough or something like that. Society sucks. That's all I'm going to say about that. I've never had a lot of like um, confidence in myself. Like, there was this question on the dating website that I answered, like, how is your self-confidence or something like that? And I wrote, which, you know, I didn't write anything. Which answer did I choose? I either chose average or below average or something like that. I think I chose average because there are some days where I look in the mirror and I'm like, you know what? I don't look bad today. Today's a, a good day. And then there are some other days where I'm just like, I look like an ogre. What is this? I'm just going to stay in bed all day. And today's one of those days where I'm just like, man, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I just want to lock myself in my room and just watch Netflix all day and just chill and stuff and things and just... Uh, I don't know. I'm weird. My confidence has never been high like lots of people's. So, yeah. I'm just going to play this random song because it's been stuck in my head for a while now and I really like this song and I know I've played it before on this channel like maybe a few months ago. But I will say this, I will say this, completely off topic, I started playing SimCity a few days ago, for the first time, ever. Like, I've never played SimCity, I bought the uh, newest one that came out, like, in last, uh, sometime last year, around the end of the year, SimCity 5 or SimCity Limited Edition, whatever. I started playing it, and it is fun. I like to play it, and it is a little frustrating, though, when it comes to, like, the oil and stuff like that, and the sewage systems, and safety, and all that 
crap, <laughs> but I don't think I could ever be like an actual mayor of the city because my city would probably fail big time. But SimCity is fun and I do like it. But um, yeah, I'm also really excited for Sims 4, The Sims 4, which is coming out like fall of this year or something like that. I think it's coming out September something for the U.S. My dogs are barking. I don't know if you can hear them. I hear them. What's that? Hold on a sec. I think these are the, the fake tattoos that I bought. Oh my god, they are! Skull Nation? Bad to the bone? <laughs> I just randomly saw these, like, spinning there. Oh my god, I love fake tattoos. I love to put on fake tattoos. Skull Nation. And bad to the bone. Tatuajes. Ooh, I like this blue one right here. I love the nautical star. Sorry, right there. I've always loved that star. If I had to get a tattoo, I'd probably get that star in this nice, like, a uh, blue and black because I just think it looks really pretty. I've always liked that star. Or I'd probably get some cool, creepy kind of skull somewhere on my body. I have no idea. But I'm not a tattoo person at all. I don't have any tattoos anywhere. I don't really have anything pierced besides my two ears. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to put on a couple fake tattoos now. <laughs> now that I saw these, I'm just like, whoa, cool. <laughs> I forgot that I bought those like eons ago at freaking Party City. I think it was Party City that I bought these. I don't remember exactly where I bought them now. Damn it. <laughs> Fudge. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. Wow, this video is almost 12 minutes. Didn't mean for it to go over that long, but I never mean it, and it always happens. I'm sorry. So, I'm going to go. I have to go to Walmart, do a few errands, and uh, then I have to pick up my niece from school, be with her for an hour, and then my brother will pick her up, and then I have to do some things in my room. Yeah. It's not going to be a real busy day. My parents are at the hospital right now. My dad is getting the the thingy put in here for for the stuff. I, I'm stuff and things. I'm blanking right now. He's getting something put in here for the chemo. What's it called? The thing. Medical terms. I don't remember what it's called. Blah. Um, I will talk more about my dad in another video, but I can't really talk about it right now because I feel like it's still kind of fresh and I still get a little sad every now and then. But my dad is, he's okay, he's fine, but some stuff is going down and I'm sure you heard me. I did mention chemo, so I will be talking more about that in my next video. So I will see you guys in the next video. The next video may or may not be about the whole situation with my dad. Uh, I do know that a couple of K-pop videos came out recently. Henry from Super Junior M came out with one called Fantastic, and I think FX came out with one called Red Light or something like that. I think they have a new album coming out, too. Uh, Henry has a new mini album coming out, a new, like, EP type thing, and I'm excited for that. I just have not been into K-pop these past few months. I mean, no, I, I've been into it, sorry, that's not what I meant to say. I've been into K-pop, but I've just been, like, lacking in K-pop. Like, I have not been listening to a lot of it at all, hardly, like, maybe one or two songs in the last two or three months or something like that, but I've just been lacking in K-pop. I don't really know a whole lot of what's going on. I just know a little bit from the fact that I'm subscribed to a few K-pop, like, company channels, like SM Entertainment. I'm subscribed to YG and Cube and one that was called Low End Entertainment, but they changed their name, so now it's One the K or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I would do my Get Your Do On but outro, but I'm not drinking any Mountain Dew. I literally just finished a cup of Mountain Dew, but that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.